Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question from Varun. He says, uh, hi, my name is Varun. I am from India. I've discovered your channel a month ago and I'm following you since then. It's an awesome channel, by the way. I know maybe this could get lengthy. It is a little bit, so bear with me here. Uh, so thanks for reading this with patience and bearing with me. I'm 17 and I'm a school dropout as I dropped out because I was bullied as it turned out as one of the biggest mistakes of my life so far. I dropped in 2013 and my whole life was turned upside down from then as my dad didn't like that at all. Who does anyway? And it's also one of the reasons why I'm so strong today from inside. And I've learned a lot from it. My mom died when I was two and he is the only caretaker of me and my little sis since uh, the, uh, since the JYK, no sympathy. Uh, anyway, um, he says, I've lost all my hope since then and thought I'd never be uh, successful in my life until I discovered programming. Uh, it gave my life a whole meaning six months ago. I agree that I was stupid back then. So since then until now, my dad's been killing me daily with the words and it's a lot difficult to learn programming under such pressure and everyone's just keeps discouraging me every day. I don't mind them mostly. I'm currently learning web dev and I love JS. So I'm in fear that I would lose in this battle as my dad is saying that uh, that won't even fund my internet bills in a few months and he's just running out of his patience. So as I put all this together, will you give me a best way to deal with this problem in a form of advice or anything like that? I'm also losing my hope every day and I feel very guilty about myself. And also I've just recovered from depression. So please just say anything as your words could bring a change and will be remembered in my life. Uh, thanks enthusiastically, Varun. So you, you can probably see why I, I went and made you listen to this whole long email because I do want to help Varun out and I think that the, the whole syntax of this or context is important. So Varun, here's the thing. You're tempted right now to basically prove your dad wrong, <laughs> to become successful as a programmer in order to prove your dad wrong. And while I want you to do that, I don't want you to do that because of that. Because if your motivation is that you are going to prove people wrong, if, you, if your motivation is, oh, those people who bullied me, oh, the, the, my dad who didn't believe in me, I'm gonna prove them wrong. What's gonna happen is a, a couple of things. One, that might last you a little bit of time, uh, and, and, but, but it, will, it will fade. And two, once you achieve that, you're gonna be so empty, it's gonna be worse than before. Uh, and, and I know this from experience because I've, you know, I was actually bullied as a kid. I was actually trying to prove the world wrong so many times I've been caught up in this. And every time when I got there and I stood up on that hill with that victory flag, it was an empty victory because I had not done things for myself. I had done them for other people. They had essentially forced me to that decision. It wasn't for me. I couldn't celebrate the victory and, and it felt empty because so what? So you've proved everyone wrong. There's still someone else that's gonna doubt you. There's still someone else who's gonna bully you. There's still someone else who's gonna disbelieve in you and discourage you. It's, it's a never ending battle. You, you, and you can't live for other people. You have to live for yourself. So, and this is the thing, right? When you find that, when you start living for yourself, when you start having that purpose, things will change around. So here's what I would recommend for you. Again, don't worry about what other people say. That's the key. There's a whole, a whole difference about not caring about people and not worrying what they say. Don't worry about what they say. Do what you feel is right for you. You are a man, you make decisions as a man and decide what it is that you need to do and do that thing and ignore everyone else, ignore the haters. You know, it doesn't mean that you, you shut off and you only listen to you and you don't take in good counsel and advice but you, any kind of discouragement and, and the hate and, and what that, all that, you, you block that out and you go forward and you drive. And, and the reason why you do it, your motivation is because, because of you, because this is what you want, not because you're proving something. You can't do that. I know you're tempted, but do not do it because you're proving something. Do it because it's what you want, because it's what you want for you, because it's what you deserve. And don't think that you're unworthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of, of having what you want and taking it, but, you, but no one is gonna give it to you. And not only is no one gonna give it to you, no one's gonna take pity on you, right? No one is, no, you have to take what you want and you have to do it. I'm not saying to be a jerk and I'm not saying to step on people's toes, but I'm saying that you have to have the drive and the passion and the focus 
to do that and to go and take life by the balls, so to speak, and, and, and grab it and don't let anyone else tell you you can't and don't live your life either for someone else because you think that'll make them happy or to prove someone else wrong because both of those lead to destruction. So uh, Varun, I uh, appreciate you sending me an email. I really hope things do change for you. Let me know, send me an email. I wanna know how you're doing. I, I, wanna, I wanna know how you're progressing. Uh, I, I appreciate, appreciate you and, and, and I appreciate you watching the channel and all of you out there that watch the channel. Uh, if, you, if you like this video, definitely subscribe. Talk to you next time, take care.